uh, the, <coughs> the first in our series on music is um, underrated songs by big performers, well-known performers. Uh, and this is um, sort of a retro edition, classic rock edition. Um, big selling artists um, who started their, their careers a long time ago. Probably the music I grew up with as a kid on AM radio mainly. A few in the end of the 90s. Uh, the latest one is 1998. Okay, underrated songs. Blondie, Union City Blue. I I just discovered this song. It doesn't get a lot of airplay. You don't see it much. Um, it's only released... It wasn't released in the US. The USA it was released in uh, Britain. It's a minor hit there, number 13, on the singles charts. And this, the vocals, I just love this song. I love um, Deborah Harry. Now she sings it this um, sort of, how would you describe it? She's sort of, it's such a, a wonderful way, the way she sings Union City Blue, you, you're going to obviously find it on the internet. It's a, ah, ah, ah. The word to describe it, I can't find an exact word to describe it. It's it's very there's something about it that's wonderful. Um, oh ho, oh ho, what are we gonna do? Union, union. Sighing is the word. That's the word I was thinking of. Sighing. She's sighing. It's a slightly unusual. It gives it an unusual. Um sort of a texture um, but not one of their better known songs and wasn't released as a single in the US but I love it that's the first one um, the second is uh, Disillusion which wasn't ever released as a single um, off Abba's first album um, that wasn't 1973 Ring Ring um, released here in 1975 not in the US and the UK until the 90s, I don't think. I can find that on Wikipedia. And Disillusion. It's a beautiful song. It's a, written by Agnita, and she didn't get a go. She didn't get a go um, writing songs for ABBA. But I think they were all um, solo artists before they came together. They were sort of a super group. They had in Sweden, in, in Scandinavia. Um, and she was a, a songwriter, and apparently a very talented one. And it's a, I love this song. It's a beautiful song, and I'm not really a huge ABBA fan, um, but I just absolutely love that. It was never released on a single, as a single. Um, 1973. You find that on Ring Ring. It's it's beautiful. And number three, the third one is uh, Elton John, the one. I love this song. It was a minor hit in places. Reached 15 here in Australia, I think. <coughs> uh, sold okay, but not considered a major song. Probably in the top tier of Elton songs. But I do think this is a masterpiece. I think it's his best song. My favourite song probably of Elton's. I think it's uh, the lyrics are brilliant. Bernie Taupin outdid himself here. Um, it's a masterpiece, I think. It's wonderful. Um, Queen, Save Me. <coughs> this is another lovely song. Not a, a better known one. It's a minor hit in the UK. Uh, didn't chart in the US. But, it's, it's got the, it's a, described as a power ballad on Wikipedia. Um, and it's got some heavier elements to it. Some very sweet sort of um, ballad uh, sort of tones to it. Probably, I love that song. It's not considered a, a Queen classic. Generally, it's not one of their sort of top 10 or 20, perhaps even 30 songs if you ask people. But I think it's a lovely song. Um, and also, 
that's um, the fourth one. The f fifth and final one is A Day Sleeper by R.E.M. Um, first single, when their, their career sales were starting to drop off a little bit. Um, <clears throat> 1998, a sort of on a, a downhill slide in terms of popularity. And maybe a, a little bit in quality too, you've got to say that. Possibly the greatest band of all time, I think, R.E.M. Um, I think on the blog I said, uh, don't, don't go back to Rockville from their country phase, their early in the career up until about 1988 or 89, they were, they were mainly a country, or 87 at least. The first few years are mainly country rock, he described it as, and don't go back to Rockville, that's probably my favourite song from that era. But the latest stuff, I think, is song that's really good, Electrolyte I Love. That's a wonderful song, one of the great lyrics in rock history. Um, 20th Century Go to Sleep. Um, just a, a, one of those really nippy little lines in, in rock. And Electrolyte is a beautiful song. And Day Sleeper. It's about people um, on night shifts. Um, and Michael Stipe you know, lived in the same apartment. There's a story on the Wikipedia still. He's um, sneaking past their home, not try, trying not to wake them up. He's sort of a pure soul. Uh, Michael Stipe, isn't he? Um, interesting story. Sharon Stone tried to pick him up. Had to do, and he just showed no interest in her. Um, so he, he can, he's got a bit of a solid sort of personality about him. Probably I wouldn't give up the opportunity to, to sleep with sort of 1990s era Sharon Stone. I don't think any sort of heterosexual men would, but he's he's got a, a bit of strength, mental strength about him to, to resist that. He's got sort of maybe some strong values. She's a bit... She got thrown off the dating site. She had a, a, a dating... A, she was on a dating site. And she said, I'm Sharon Stone, the actress. <laughs> and she got thrown off because they naturally assume that's just ridiculous, that's uh, fake, obviously. Don't see, and it was actually her. So someone will get a chance to pick up Sharon Stone, later era Sharon Stone, probably still a lot of red-blooded men still going for there. The, she's a GILF now, G-I-L-F. Um, that was an interesting story about Michael Stipe, though. So Blondie, Union City Blue... The sighing lyrics, the sighs of, of Deborah Harry. Agneta's really good song, Disillusion, by ABBA. Maybe she should have been given a bigger go. If that song is an indication, I think that's probably their best song. I think the one, I think it is highly rated by the experts, <coughs> I think. Um, the one by Elton John. Maybe not by... The general public. I think that's his best song. I think it's a masterpiece. Um, Queen Save Me, very underrated. Very complex song. Um, it's it's excellent. And A Day Sleeper by R.E.M. Very empathetic song. Just a very smooth sort of, and the lyrics are quite lyrically strong. And underrated, not considered a major song. But I think I really like that song. I really like it. So that's the cl classic rock edition. Uh, maybe um, Paul Simon. Hearts and Bones is a really good song. That album, uh, the 1983 album, didn't sell well at all. And that was a sort of considered a, a career low commer commercially for him. Some of the songs on that album aren't really good but that I think that's a nice song about Carrie Fisher the romance with her I didn't know anything about that until I read about that song with Paul Simon um, the late Carrie Fisher that's another nice one Hearts and Bones just a nicely crafted sort of last folk um, song smooth very smooth adult song so that's a few, that's a few to, to think of, the major artists whose um, songs 
aren't particularly well rated and don't get a much airplay on the TV or the radio and not uh, discussed a whole lot. But I think those, all five of those are fantastic. <coughs> and you should, uh, if you haven't heard those songs, you should check them out. 